of the Chinese whatever, I don't even know what you want to call that, uh, it's not democracy, dictatorship, okay? They didn't want to, to, to be subjected to that. So they started shutting down the Hong Kong International Airport, right? Now, it's not that I, you know, uh, agree that much with shutting down the airport. However, I did understand why they did it. But the part that I want you to pay attention how they shut down the, the Hong Kong International Airport. Number one, the majority of the people were all wearing black. All black, everything from head to toe. They were all wearing black. Second of all, everybody was wearing masks because the Chinese people are very, are very heavily surveilled by cameras everywhere. So if everybody's wearing black, and everybody has on a mask, especially with Chinese people, you really can't tell who is who, one person from another. So they hid their identities. Antifa does the same thing when they go out on their hair. 
I don't know what the hell they you want to call. When they go out on they run, they have they temper tantrums in the street. They're also all wearing black, also all wearing masks, also all wearing hats so you can't see their hair. Okay? So, you know, as I'm watching these videos and I am, it does give me some sort of satisfaction that at least something is happening that doesn't involve post boards and markers and prayer, at the same time, it concerns me that I can see their faces. It concerns me that I can see their faces, because if I can see their faces and their faces are on the internet and we're all sharing these videos, we're sharing their faces. You get what I'm saying? I'm just talking about Hong Kong and I'm just talking about what had happened there. That's all I'm saying. You know, that's what bothers me about the situation. Okay, so in Hong Kong, everybody had on the mask and, and everybody had on, you know, all black or whatever. Another thing that they did, whoo, let me tell you something. If y'all driving on the Bell Parkway, be careful because police is all up and down here. Lucky thing I'm not, I don't have a lead foot no more. But if y'all driving on the Bell Parkway, be careful because, and, and lately I've been seeing a lot more sneaky cops so y'all just be careful in general on the bell parkway on the jackie robinson as well i've been seeing them in all kind of weird places that you don't even think a car could fit and they up there hiding catching people so y'all be careful and, and black men make sure you catch you have on your ways i don't understand why anybody any black men drive in new york city without their ways i mean we snitch on that that's the that's my favorite snitch app. I love to snitch on the police on ways. I'm, I'm a snitching mug. I be like, oh, oh, uh, checkpoint, checkpoint, brothers, stay away. I be on that way snitching like a mug. I'm real quick with it too. Boop, 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 police. I could do that so fast. I barely even take my eyes off the road. <laughs> snitching on the police. Anyway, back to Hong Kong. So, um, yeah, so not only did they do that, but because China is very heavily surveilled with cameras everywhere, one day I saw that they all came out with black umbrellas. So when everybody put the umbrella up, the cameras can't see shit. I thought that was, not only that, but umbrellas can deflect cans of, 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 of tear gas. Black umbrellas. These are simple, inexpensive things that, that they use. I'm just talking about Hong Kong. All black. A mask on your face. Shoot, and the way black people set up, oh, ski masks would be nice. Uh, you know, ski masks would be nice. Can't see none of your features. I'm just saying, when, when you have one of ski masks, it's really hard to see any of your features, you know. That's what Antifa does. That's what Antifa does. I'm not saying nothing, but I'm just talking about what Antifa does. I be seeing Antifa with the whole, they be, they be blacked out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And little black umbrellas, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe I should... Maybe I should put down... Maybe I should start selling a Hong Kong special. Hmm. Hmm. I just, I just, you know, and, and it was so interesting if I go, if I could go even further with Hong Kong, you know, they had to release a virus to stop them. Hong Kong and China was losing so much money because of the international travel and their, their Hong Kong dollar was going down. I mean, the stock market, the stock exchange, because people couldn't come out. It was really hurting business and commerce and all kinds of things by them shutting down the airport. Hong Kong was really suffering 
because of how the Hong Kong people were 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 executing their revolution. You know, because not only are they heavily surveilled, but they got facial recognition software in Hong Kong. But when you got, I guess when you have on a ski mask, the facial recognition software can't pick up your face for later prosecution by the Chinese government. You know, I was just thinking about that. I was like, you know, that's really smart. A ski mask and everybody's wearing black, you know, you can't tell one person from the other. You know, those Hong Kong people, they got that part right. I'm just talking about Hong Kong. I'm just talking about Hong Kong. Maybe, you know, that, that, that's a good idea. That's just a really good idea. Because what concerns me about what's going on in Minneapolis is, like I said, I see their faces. And if I see their face, then police going to see their face. And that could lead to future issues. Come on, everybody got something. I saw a few people with like, you know, bandanas and stuff on their face, step in the right direction. It's golden. A step in the right direction. Yeah. You know, we're all already adjusted to, to wearing masks. We all got black. I'm just, I'm just talking about Hong Kong. I'm, I'm just so I really love black clothing. I really I, I like black clothes. You know, I got a lot of black clothes. Okay. You know, I just I just like black. Yeah, you know. You know, don't wear, and you know something else that's interesting? You know something else that's interesting? You know, no. I remember watching, um, there was a, it was Wu, the Wu-Tang show, right? And it's just popped into my head, you know, it's just the Wu-Tang show. And I hope y'all picking up when I'm laying down. So I was watching the Wu-Tang show. And yeah, it was a really, really good show, right? And this is kind of a spoiler alert, so I hope you... And I, I won't be specific, but it, once you watch it, it's going to be specific anyway. But I, I have to say it because I'm, I'm making a point here. Um, it, it makes me think of the Wu-Tang show. There, there was this guy, right, who had committed this robbery on that show, right? And this guy, he was known for wearing the freshest sneakers. Like, he had all the, the new sneaker, like, you know, whatever the, the, not just the new sneakers, but the, 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 the rare sneakers, the hard to find sneakers, you know, like the, the stuff that, you know, you gotta like bid on and whatnot, right? He was like known for like wearing them kind of sneakers, right? So he committed a robbery, like, and he had on, I don't remember if he had on all black or whatever, but I, I think he did. He had on all black, but he had on them sneakers. And the person that he robbed, you know, just happened to be filming the situation and he was watching the film back and he got caught because of them sneakers. I'm just talking about the Wu-Tang show. I'm, I'm just talking about the Wu-Tang show. You know. I just, you know, those are just my thoughts. Like, I was just thinking. And, you know, something else that, you know, this makes me think of. Like, when I was doing the posts about Nazi Germany, 
when we were to, we we went into the destruction of the European of European Jews that 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 are uh, 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 the documentary that was on YouTube or whatever when we you know we watched that together and I I, I showed you clips and stuff like that after okay so just to, to sum it up kind of to make a long story short so. Nazi Germany started going into Jewish people's homes, burning down their homes, kicking them out, um, confiscating all their money, confiscating everything. You know, things started, it progressed slowly to where, and then, you know, they were kind of pushed into these ghettos. You know, they started taking over other countries and doing the same things to the Jewish people there. And you know, then they started, you know, busting them out of the ghettos into the concentration camps. Their leaderships, their leadership uh, uh, would be the ones to give out the announcements on when to meet the buses to go down to the oven. Their leadership, their rabbis, right? And they would just be like, if we just, if we just do this, then they'll leave us alone. If we, if, if we just do this, then they'll leave us alone. And, 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 and every time the Nazis would step it up a bit, you know, first it started with, you know, the mentally ill and then, you know, they wanted, you know, um, the elderly and, and, and then they wanted the children. And, and, and then wasn't nothing left but the young people, right? Mm -hmm. So the reason why the young people were left is because they needed the young people to work and make you know, all of the things that the, the, the Nazi soldiers needed as they marched into other countries and continued the same process. So what had happened? So what happened was, how did, you know, how, what happened was that all of a sudden, sorry. So all of a sudden, it, it, since nobody was left with the young at this point, they was like, yo, fuck this shit. They started fighting back. And when they started fighting back, other countries started coming in and helping or whatever. I don't think, you know. But anyway, they started fighting back. But at that time, you know, they, it was just nothing left but the young and the strong. What might have happened if they would have just fought from the beginning when their numbers were higher? Before they sacrificed all the mentally ill, the elderly, the, 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 the what would have happened if they had done that first? What ha what, what, what would have happened if they would have started with the fight instead of waiting until they lost their grandparents and the this and the that and the that die? You know what I'm saying? What would have happened if they started with that? I'm just talking about Nazi Germany. I'm just, you know, I be thinking, I just be thinking, I just be thinking. I just be thinking. And then, you know, and then it, and then it makes me think about Hong Kong. You know, the all black, the ski mask, the umbrellas. You know what else what I would say? You know, I, I, I would even say goggles. I think, I think, I think, I think the Hong Kong people should have had goggles too. I think, you know why? Because goggles would help you against tear gas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think they should have had goggles. But the umbrella, you know, that seemed to be effective, you know, for, for them. That seemed to be effective, you know. But I, I just think goggles would, would, would. Yeah, it, it protects your eyes from tear gas. Yeah, you know. Cause I noticed, you know, mm, yeah, tear gas. Mm -hmm. You know what? What? You know what had happened in Minnesota? They they was um throwing tear gas at the people. Uh -huh. Yeah, they was they was throwing tear gas at the people down there. Mm -hmm. I saw. On the video, you know, the cans of tear gas. And, yeah, that's not a good feeling. I feel like goggles could help with that. Who has gas 
face mask. Young Freddy, you got one? Who has gas masks? You know, the Hong Kong people didn't have access to all this fancy things. They didn't have access to these fancy things. You know, but some of you know, some some of them swim. Some of them swim, so they might have access to goggles. They didn't have access to fancy things, you know, you know. They had access to all black clothing. They had access to masks, face masks, ski masks, and they had access to umbrellas, black umbrellas. You know. I don't know. I was just thinking. I was just thinking. be like three dollars those black umbrellas when you press the button it just pop out it's not the most sturdy thing you know when the wind is blowing and the rain is whatever it's a black umbrella though it'd be like three dollars the KKK wore hoods, you know. They wore hoods because they didn't want nobody to know that they was the sheriff and the, and the doctor and the, and the lawyer and the, and the, you know, they didn't want nobody to know. They didn't want nobody to know. What the? They didn't want nobody to know. on the Central Park lady. I mean, <laughs> would you, I'm not, I'm not surprised at the animal rights or people are involved because when I looked at it and I saw that, I was like, oh, the white people not upset about how she treating the dog. So I knew that was coming. But she was choking the shit out that dog. And you already know, that's the same way Emmett Till got, you know, uh, lynched back in the day. So, you know, the Karens are Karening. And what's interesting to me is I'm not going to be caping too hard for it, especially no more, because the gay man then came out and talking about, oh, how we need to stop sending death threats to Karen. So what you want me to say about it? This is, And that's another reason why it's very hard to fucking speak and cape and fucking, you know, put all of your energy into fighting for people. For what? For what? So you so now that we didn't got her fired and, and, and we didn't got justice for your ass, now you want to get on here and pacify us and tell us what to do and what not to do? The next time, keep your fucking phone in your pocket and get your ass down in that dirt when the police get there. Don't come and ask us to do shit for you. I'm so fucking sick of that shit. That's, a, that's another reason why it's like you don't even want to fight for nobody. For what? So they can get on there and talk about they forgive and give out fucking hugs and suck white dick? I don't want to say shit about it. Fuck him and fuck her. Fuck him to fuck him harder than I say fuck her. Because you sat there and fucking put, and got us hyped up and now you want to tell us to calm down? It's too fucking late. Next time, keep your gay ass phone in your gay ass pocket and leave us the fuck alone. We sit here and try to help you out. And you want to get over there and who you fighting for? He wasn't fighting for black people. He up there writing uh, uh, get queer positive shit. Queer positive. You're not doing no positivity comic books for black people, are you? I don't read his comics, but I, I, from what I heard, that's what he was doing with himself. 
he was making himself an LGBTQ advocate, not a black advocate. So what the fuck you want me to say about it? Not a goddamn thing. I don't have shit to say about it. Fuck him and fuck her. I'm fucking tired of these people straddling the goddamn fence. This ain't fence straddling time. We gonna split the baby in half. You sit on the fence, stay the fuck over there. I ain't got shit to say about it. Fuck her and fuck him. They both can go straight to hell with gasoline draws on. Fuck you want me to say about it? Nothing. I ain't got shit to say. Anyway, back to Hong Kong. You know, I just, I just really, I really, I just, I, 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 I think it's interesting. They had to, they had to release a virus to get those people to stop protesting. It was costing them so much money and they did not want another Tiananmen Square where they were seen shooting down their own people in the streets. They didn't want to handle it like that. So, Corona... the Hong Kong protests because everybody was social distancing and all this kind of stuff and they didn't, you know, so, so that's what paused it. And while it was paused because of the virus, they have snuck it in the legislation to, to do what they was protesting not to do. Their, their own Hong Kong uh, 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 representation has sold them out. And what's happening right now, they're protesting again with all black umbrellas and ski masks. They out there again. They said, fuck this social distancing shit. Where did I hear what from? Look it up. I'm tired of that too. Y'all want me to, to make videos so I have to sit here and watch our people being beat up and killed 50 times a day? I'm tired. I don't want to do it no more. Look it up. I didn't spoon fed lectures. I didn't spoon fed information. Spoon fed the news. Spoon fed, spoon fed. Aren't y'all on quarantine? Look it up. Don't you have extra time on your hands? Look it up. I'm tired. I'm not, I'm tired of filling my spirit with these images.
for me to fucking fight, I need to fight because I know damn well ain't none of y'all gonna pull anybody off me. Y'all not pulling the people off each other. So now I gotta make sure I'm prepared and I'm ready to defend myself. Cause all of the 7,000 people that that's, or that's watches the videos and stuff like that, ain't nobody gonna pull somebody off me. Oh, look what 
the hell they doing in, in New York with the, with the vaccinations? Now we all looking at forced vaccinations because they didn't already took the religious exemptions away. They already did step one in New York. Was to take away religious, uh, religious exemptions. Those were the most least watched videos ever for me. Nobody gave a fuck. I'm going to keep my head on straight. I'm going to keep watching Hong Kong. I'm going to keep my head on straight. I'm going to keep watching Hong Kong. And seeing that they're wearing all black, ski masks, and got black umbrellas. with somewhere that I didn't think it was going to go. That, that is not why I got on here this morning. But maybe it needed to be said, clearly. It needed to be said. All right. And on that note, you know, I was talking to somebody who was like, oh, you know, we need to forgive, or not not this particular situation, but just in general, this person was talking about forgiveness. And I was like, you know what? Every other race looks out for themselves but us. We know white people look out for themselves. Chinese people look out for themselves. Mexicans look out for themselves. themselves except for black people. We want to go help this person and help that person and all this kind of stuff, and we don't even help ourselves. And on that note, Howard Man 11, y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to leave you with the attire of the Hong Kong people. It was a black mask, all black clothes.